Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes has now got a new trailer which debuted at the Super Bowl last week. I do have to say this is on my most anticipated movies of 2024 and it's only a couple of months away before its May release date. My most successful video so far on this channel was the first trailer breakdown of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, so I would like this video to do equally as well, if not greater, but we'll see if that happens or not. And just to confirm, some comments I got before stated that this is only taking place a few years after the events of War of the Planet of the Apes and this main character, who is called Noah, is actually Cornelius, the son of Caesar, from the Rupert Wyatt and Matt Reeves movies. But this has seemingly been debunked, and the movie has been confirmed to take place 300 years after the events of War of the Planet of the Apes. Though it is said that this film will deal with the legacy that Caesar left the other apes. So what's clear about the future society they've set out in this movie is that they've flipped it on its head, where there's the first movie we had humans dominating the planet and then the second movie and the third movie were dealing with the war and the outbreak of them trying to coexist with the apes. But this has flipped it on its head. The apes are now the dominant species on the planet. They're smart. They are in control of everything. They don't have a full society and technology in the same way human beings did, but they've driven human beings underground as it were. This is certainly a cool and different way to take the franchise. I know the original movies, how they've dealt with the apes running the future society, but this appears to be different still. In this trailer, we do get to see that the apes have a sort of home base, but they seemingly appear to be somewhat nomadic and they're not really... It's like a medieval age rather than them relying heavily on technology, though we do see that they use fire and they don't really have access to any other technology like firearms or vehicles. And the fact that we've only got one major human character in this movie as played by Freya Allen is certainly intriguing. There will have to have been a lot of CGI in this movie and they do the motion capture for the actors playing the apes in this movie and they'll have had to interact with the actress on set to make this work, as if you've seen the behind-the-scenes stuff they did on the other Planet of the Apes movies, then we know how they've made this movie. The person who features, or the ape who features most in the trail, I should say, is the character Proximus Caesar, who's played by Kevin Durand, and appears he is the villain of the movie, or at least the antagonistic force that Noah is going to face. It's cool that he still has the Caesar titles that came from the Emperors of Rome and the title from Julius Caesar, where that name comes from. And then obviously we have the words of Tsar and the word King, which all come from the word Caesar, which is quite a cool little history lesson, if you like. 300 years on, he still has the Caesar name based on the character Andy Serkis played, and they have said that this film is going to follow heavily the legacy of the character of Caesar, and obviously they are, the apes in this are misinterpreting his will that he wants humans and apes to coexist. And even the voiceover he gives in the trailer that he talks about how the humans were the dominant force and that they were able to fly without wings, referencing aeroplanes. And they had telephone and internet just so they could communicate across the oceans. And there's still a primitive society that the apes are living in. And just because they've got the bigger brains and they're able to speak and communicate doesn't mean they'll understand technology completely in the same way or be able to develop it at the early stages of their evolution. But it also appears that the human characters, I mentioned that Frey Allen is this main character, but we see the apes hunting these other humans who appear to be in ragged clothes and they've clearly been driven underground and are hated by the apes in society. They clearly don't coexist whatsoever, they don't do trade with one another, they are being hunted as a genocide from the apes' point of view, hunting the human beings down. 
This trailer basically highlights the story is going to be this ape Noah, who is played by Owen Teague, is going to be against the teachings that Caesar let down about humans and apes coexisting, and that's going to be destroyed by Proximus Caesar, as played by Kevin Durand, and he's going to, this is Noah, he's going to protect Frey Allen's character, who I believe is called May. And I don't know how the overall plot or the direction this film is going in or if this will all be resolved in this movie or as this is being launched as a new trilogy of Planet of the Apes movies, if there's going to be a wider story arc building up or if they do it more like the films we got originally with Rupert Wyatt and Matt Reeves then there could be significant time jumps and different human characters along the way. Although I do assume that we're going to get new human characters in a later movie, if they're going to adapt some of the sequel stories to the Planet of the Apes films that came out back in the 60s and 70s. I do really like the design of Proximus Caesar. I do think he looks intimidating and scary. Reminds me of Cobra, who featured in the Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, who was played by Toby Kebble. And overall, I feel like this trailer sets him up to be a decent villain, and I'm really excited to see how he plays out being the villain of at least this film, or if not the next trilogy of Planet of the Apes movies being the major villain across the three movies. I do really like how the trailer looks. I know some people will be against the use of heavy CGI. I feel like the apes look quite decent and clearly they are shooting in CGI sets rather than they're using green and blue screen. I saw a report that they're not using anything like the volume, which is the LED screens, because it wasn't big enough to shoot the scenes they wanted to shoot, which is fair enough. The fact that so many of the characters are apes and they're going to be brought to life through computer-generated images rather than... Although, as I said, the actors will perform on set pretending to be the apes and doing the voices of the apes. But some of the beauty of filmmaking may be lost if they weren't able to shoot on location. I think they have shot some stuff on location and if you look back at the I believe the Matt Reeves films I think in particular War of the Planet of the Apes they did shoot a lot of that on location and I feel that was really felt in those movies and I am concerned that that might not happen with this film and I just hope the film is good enough story-wise for people to forgive CGI if it's not up to standards. I feel like CGI does get criticised a lot recently, and I do know there's a problem in the industry with the employees of these studios being overworked, underpaid. They're having to bid for these jobs, and then they have to undercut each other and then really crunch to get the work out and then it looks subpar because they haven't been given enough time or they haven't been given enough money to do it and then studios are just generally okay with a film looking bad I think if you look at The Flash recently and it just looks dreadful and I think this looks a lot better than that I could be wrong I'd love to hear your thoughts about that but I think the CGI looks pretty decent and the apes look quite good maybe less so the backgrounds in some of the shots but I am impressed with how the apes are looking and definitely if it's on par or just equal to what we got in the most recent War of the Planet of the Apes movie directed by Matt Reeves I'll be satisfied with that. In terms of theories about this I know they were pushing the this is 300 years in the future story arc but people have said that this character, the main character, is Cornelius and it's just trying to be a surprise and it may be a plot twist that this isn't hundreds of years in the future, it may only be 20 years in the future. And if humans are just being driven underground and they're not communicating with the apes, then the ape leader, Proximus Caesar, is lying to his people about the time period and how long it's been. 
I think that could be an interesting way to take the story. I'm not sure it's true. Just a theory. And they could go down that route. But we'll have to wait and see when the film comes out in a couple of months. So that's it for me talking about the trailer for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on the trailer. Whether or not you liked it. Do you think the CGI is up to scratch? And where do you think the story is going? And what you want to see from the other two films that are going to come out after this in the trilogy? Let me know in the comments below. Please give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And make sure to click the bell icon to receive notifications for all of my videos. That's it for now. Thanks for tuning in.